Namaste and welcome to the Sun Salutation Flow. In this flow, we'll be practicing one full round of classical sun salutations, followed by four more Surya Namaskars with added asanas, twists, chaturangas, and warrior postures. If you're still new to sun salutations, please have a look at my sun salutation playlist on the channel. It has tutorials and also sequences of 5, 10, 15, and 20 Surya Namaskars that you can practice. If you're ready for this one, let's get started. So we'll start in a seated position, any comfortable seat. And closing our eyes gently, we're just going to begin by tuning into our breath, noticing how our breath feels, how our body feels, noticing any thoughts that might be running through the mind, and just politely putting all of that on hold and coming back to our breath. And every time your mind starts to wander during this practice, just use your breath as an anchor that will bring you back to the present moment. Bring your palms to touch in front of your heart. Tuck the chin in slightly. We will open our practice by chanting Om three times together. I invite you to bring your awareness into the body and around your body and let the vibrations of Om resonate within you and around you. Let's inhale for Om. Bow your head, namaste, and blink your eyes to open. Beautiful. We will now warm up our wrists and our ankles. So come to a kneeling position. Tuck all the ten toes under, including the pinky toe, and bring your sitting bones on top of the heels. We're going to begin by activating our ujjayi breathing, so the ocean wave breath. Lips are together, breath in and out through the nose. We're going to constrict the throat muscles slightly to create that sound without straining. And this is a wonderful breath practice that helps us to keep this warmth within us, within the body, and to keep our attention and awareness right here, right now. And now, staying with this breath, we will link our breath, movement, and gaze. So bring the arms to the side of the body. And as you take your inhale, reach the arms to the side to come up. Gaze follows and reaches to the tips of your thumbs. Exhale, slowly reaching the arms to the side. So go at your own pace. Inhale to reach up, look up. Exhale. And last one here together. Gorgeous. Let's untuck the toes. Oh, that should feel pretty good in the ankles and in the toes and just bring your sitting bones back onto your heels we're going to reach the arms forward make fists and start to make circles with your fists with your wrists in one direction stay with your breath stay completely present and switch directions so stay present with any sensation that you're feeling in the arms in the shoulders within your body, through your breath. This is what you're here for. Anything else can wait. Beautiful. And now we're going to open and close the fingers. So let them explode open and then close them back. Do this a few times just to allow circulation uh, to be enhanced here in the hands and the fingers. Beautiful. Bring the arms next to you. And now we're going to take three 
cleansing breaths together. So we'll inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And as we do so, with the inhale, let's bring our shoulders all the way up to the ears. Exhale through the mouth, drop the shoulders. And this is a really, really, really great way to let go of any tension. Inhale up. Last one. And let it go. Beautiful. And let's get started with a sun salutation. So make your way up and step to the front of your mat. Okay, arms by the side of the body. Take a moment here to feel the ground beneath your feet. Bring your palms to touch in front of the heart. And let's begin with our classical sun salutation. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, let the heart lead you forward. Draw the belly in, drop the head. Inhale, right foot takes a big step back. Drop the right knee. Open up through the chest. Plant the hands down. Hold your breath if you can. Step the left foot back. Knees, chest and chin come to the mat. Elbows close to the body. Exhale here. And then inhale as you lift the chest. Elbows close to the body. Exhale, lower down, press yourself up to downward facing dog. We're on the right side, so inhale and step your right foot forward, drop the left knee, lift the heart. Exhale, left foot forward and fold. Inhale to reach the arms up and back. Heart center as you exhale, left side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, belly in and fold. Left foot takes a big step back now. Drop that back knee, open up through the chest. Hold the breath if you can. Right foot steps back, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale to cobra. Activate the legs, pull the shoulder blades down, lift the heart. Exhale as you tuck the toes, push yourself into downward facing dog. We are on the left side, so left foot will step forward. Open up through the chest. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reach the arms up. Heart center. Beautiful. We will now start with our ladder flow. So to begin with, step your feet slightly apart. Reach the arms up with your inhale. With your exhale, turn the palms out and dive the arms back. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Press the palms together. Reach the knuckles towards the ground. If this is too much for your shoulders, hold a strap in between the hands or a towel. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, bend the knees generously as you fold over the legs and let the hands come forward and down. Take one breath here. Lift the hips, but you can keep your knees bent. And exhale. We're going to twist a little bit here now. We're going to start with the right side. So I'm going to bend my right knee a lot and straighten the left leg as much as possible and twist from the navel up. So I'm bringing my right shoulder toward the knee and lifting the left shoulder, maybe even looking up. And let's switch sides. So bend the left knee, straighten the right leg as much as possible, lift the right shoulder, drop the left shoulder, twist. Nice job. Come back to center. Hands come back toward your hips. Release the fingers down. Inhale, take a half lift. Draw the belly in, hands on your shins. Pull the shoulders back. And as you exhale, let's step the right foot back, drop that back knee. So let's all make sure our left knee is right over the ankle. All right. Once we have this, inhale, reach the arms up. So we're not dropping all our weight here. Zip up the energy, like I like to say. So think of a zip from the pubic bone to the navel. Engage your core, reach the energy right through the fingertips. Inhale, exhale here. With our next breath in, reach a little higher. And as you exhale, we're going to come into a twist. So right fingers forward, left fingers back. Left thigh bone plugs back into the socket. Keep the belly in. 
think of twisting from the navel up. So your rib cage is twisting. Expanding in all directions for one more breath. And then reach forward through your right fingertips. Drop the right hand right next to your foot and reach the left arm nice and high. Staying in this twist. So keeping the chest nice and open and that alignment with your fingertips, your wrist, your shoulders. And I'm not dropping my weight here. I'm pressing away from the ground. Good job. Let's frame our foot with the hands. Lift the back knee. Step it back into plank position. Coming back into Ashtanga Namaskara. So shift forward, drop the knees. Keep the elbows close to you, chest and chin down. Inhale. Lift up into Cobra. We're going to do this two more times. Exhale down. Keep the legs active. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale down. And this time, we're going to activate the back muscles a little more. Inhale up and hover the hands off the floor. Take two breaths here. Shoulders away from the ears. Neck is long. And slowly lower down. When you're ready, tuck the toes. Lift yourself up into downward facing dog. Press the ground away from you. Lengthen through the sides of the waist. We're on the right side, so right foot steps forward. Drop that back knee. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come forward. Lift the back knee. Step it forward and fold. Inhale to reach the arms up and back. Back to heart center. And we'll do the left side, so exactly what we did on the right. Hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Turn the palms out, exhale, swim the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, press the palms together, reach the knuckles down, lift the heart, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees. So make sure you have some space between both your feet. We'll start with the left side this time. So bend the left knee a lot, straighten the right leg, drop the left shoulder, lift through the right shoulder. Come back to center, let's do the other side. So bend the right knee, lift the left shoulder, maybe even look up toward the ceiling. Come back to center, knuckles reach toward your hips, release the fingers down, take a half lift. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, left foot steps back. Drop that back knee. Let's make sure the right knee is over the ankle this time. And reach the arms up. So think of that zipping up action. Belly is engaged. Ribs are in. Fingers reaching up. One breath in. Exhale, come into that twist. So think of drawing the right rib cage back, the right left rib cage forward, and twisting from the navel up, expanding through the fingertips. Maybe even looking toward the back, if that's okay for your neck. Good job. Look forward, reach forward, and then drop the left hand next to your foot. Reach the right arm nice and high. Making sure your chest is open, your wrist is aligned with your shoulder. Good job. Let's frame our foot with the hands. Lift the back knee. Step it back into plank. Shift forward. So shoulders come forward. You're onto your tippy toes. Drop the knees. Chest and chin down. Inhale, lower down. We're going to do a variation of cobra now with a little twist. So keep the legs slightly apart. Inhale, lift, look over the left shoulder as if you wanted to look toward the, the heels. So twisting from the upper spine. Exhale down. Let's do that on the right side. Inhale, look over the right shoulder. Exhale down. Beautiful. Let's tuck all ten toes under. Lift ourselves up into downward facing dog. Take one full breath here. And then with the next inhale, we're going to look forward. Step the left foot forward. Drop that back knee. Open up through the chest. Big breath in. Exhale. Fold forward. Inhale. Reach the arms up and back. Heart center. So we've completed two rounds already. We'll move on to the third round now. 
In this round, we, we will be keeping the knee off the floor. So we'll be doing something similar to what we just did, but just the knee off the floor. Good. So let's reach our arms up, inhale, and this time lift the, the heels off the floor. Lift, 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 activate the legs, draw the belly in, reach a little higher, and exhale, draw the heels back down. Hands come back to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale to fold forward. Drop the head. Inhale, take a half lift. Pull the shoulders back. Crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, right foot takes a big step back. Now, let's make sure, just so that we get our balance, that we are on a on railway tracks, okay? Our feet are on railway tracks, not on one line, otherwise it's hard. So about hip width distance. Now the back knee is going to stay off the floor. Find your balance, 90 degree angle in the forward knee, reach the arms up. Into crescent lunge, draw the belly in, engage the core, keep the heart lifted. Inhale, and then as you exhale, come into that twist. So right arm forward, left arm back. Making sure the knee is still over the ankle. Breathe here. And then reach the right fingertips away from you. Drop the hand, reach the left arm up. Activating the legs. So feel that work in the legs. That twist from the navel up. Good job. Let's frame our foot with the hands. Step it back, and we're going to move into chaturangas now. So for the first one, we'll drop our knees, shift the shoulders forward. Now let's keep our core super engaged. Elbows stay close to the body, and lower down. Okay, so lower down, shoulders in line with the elbows, hold, and lower all the way down. Hands are next to the floating ribs. Legs are super active, roll the inner thighs in. Let's lift up into upward facing dog. Lift everything up, even the thighs. Roll the thighs in. Pull the heart forward. Drop the knees. Belly in, ribs in. Hips go back, downward dog. Inhale, look forward. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, step the left foot forward and fold over the legs. Inhale to reach back up heart center let's move on to the left side so inhale reach up lift the heels find your balance stay present with all that work that the feet are doing the legs are doing with your breath and exhale heels come back down palms reach to heart center inhale reach up exhale to fold belly in drop the head Inhale to take a half lift, shoulders back, crown of the head forward. Exhale, left foot takes a big step back. Now make sure you have that space between both your feet, about hip width distance. Right knee over the ankle, find your balance. Inhale to reach the arms up. Once again, don't drop your weight here. Pull up, engage the core, lift the heart. Let's take one breath in. Exhale, come into that twist. So expanding through the fingertips. Plug the right thigh bone back. Breathe. Reach the left fingertips forward. Drop the hand. Reach the right arm high up. Shoulders in line. Reach the fingertips high. Breathe. Don't collapse your weight into the left shoulder. Push away from the floor. Nice job. Frame the foot with the hands. Step the right foot back. We're into plank. So in, on this side, I'll demonstrate the full chaturanga. Feel free to drop the knees if you need to. Shift forward. Come onto your tippy toes. Core is super strong and engaged. Bend the elbows. Chaturanga. And let's try to push up into upward facing dog. Untuck the toes. Press the tops of the feet onto the mat. Draw the belly in, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here, pressing away from the ground, drawing the belly in, the ribs in, hips are high. Left foot is going to step forward. 
inhale reach the arms up exhale forward fold step the right foot forward inhale reach back up heart center take a mini break if you need to so those were three rounds now we'll move on to the fourth round and we'll add a little more twists here okay so we'll start off with Utkatasan chair pose. So whenever you're ready, arms by the sides, feet are together or slightly apart. Inhale, touch the mat with your fingertips, sit down into that imaginary chair, bring the arms forward or up, depending on how open your shoulders are. Draw the ribs in and the belly in. Sit as low as you can on this chair and gaze down if you can see your your toe tips that's amazing if not you want to resist your shins and the knees back as you exhale fold forward drop the head inhale to half lift exhale right foot steps back drop that back knee now we're going to move into a twist here again make sure your feet are on railway tracks on two parallel lines bring your hands to heart center inhale to lift the heart now the tips of the thumbs are right at the center of your chest so they're touching the sternum inhale exhale twist toward the left side so initiate the twist from the core left rib cage back right rib cage forward so use your core activation inhale exhale let's twist a little more good from here we're going to lean forward and hook the shoulder outside the left knee keeping the palms together at our heart center so we want to find opposition although the shoulder or the elbow might be pushing into the knee the knee is pushing out okay so you want to keep the knee facing forward thumbs are in the center of the chest press the palms together elbows in line so option num number one is to stay here option number two if you want a little more challenge you can press down through the ball of the right foot and lift the knee up take a couple of more breaths and then slowly return to center nice job inhale here exhale hands come to frame your foot step it back into plank position chaturanga dandasan so come onto your tippy toes you can drop the knees bend the elbows upward facing dog downward facing dog and take a moment here to press the ground away bend the knees a little bit heels don't have to touch the floor you can lift the hips up higher and we're on the right side so right foot steps in between the hands drop that back knee open up through the chest and exhale step the left foot forward and fold inhale to reach the arms up and heart center let's do the same on the left side inhale utkatasan chair pose so sit nice and low make sure you're resisting the shins back and the knees back draw the belly in and the ribs in breathe let's take one more breath and as you exhale fold over the legs inhale take a half lift exhale left side so left foot takes a big step back drop that back knee set yourself up for that twist so hands to heart center lift the heart exhale twist from the navel up use your core inhale here exhale twist a little more draw the right rib cage back left rib cage forward and now you can lean forward hook that shoulder outside the knee find that opposition press the palms together elbows in line thumbs in the center of your chest and maybe you lift up the back knee and breathe here stay present what are you feeling in the body are you feeling the twist are you feeling those legs working one more breath 
Drop the back knee if it's lifted. Come back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Step it back into plank. Chaturanga Dandasan. Upward facing dog. Let the heart come forward. Roll the thighs in. And exhale downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here. And inhale to step the left foot forward. Drop the back knee, open through the chest. Exhale, right foot steps forward. Take that forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms up. Heart center. And we have reached the last round. And this is where we're going to do some warrior posture. So, Veera Badrasan. So, let's begin. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, take a half lift. Exhale, right foot steps back. Good. So from here, we want to make sure we have that 90 degree angle in the front knee and we'll spin the back heel down. So we have a 45 degree angle in the back foot. Now find your balance, lift your torso up. You want to make sure your shoulders are forward, your hips are forward. Inhale to reach the arms up, activate the back leg, sit nice and low into this warrior legs. Arms reach up, palms together, fingers together, look toward your thumbs. Let's take one more breath. And exhale, hands frame your foot. Step it back, plank position, Chaturanga Dandasan. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here. And we'll step the right foot forward. Inhale to look forward. Right foot steps forward. Now, we're going to move into warrior two. So spin the back heel down. Right knee is over the right ankle. And cartwheel your arms to come to the side. Coming into Veera Badrasan B, warrior two. Now the arms, shoulders away from the ears. Fingertips reaching away from you. Gaze towards the right fingertips. Knee over the ankle. Belly in. Inhale, reach the arms up. Straighten the leg. Little pause here. And whenever we're ready, let's come back into warrior two. We're going to reverse this warrior. So option one, left hand comes to the left shin. Reach the right arm overhead. Feel that stretch. Option two, left fingertips reach towards the right knee. Option three, left arm comes around the back and reaches for the inner thigh. And slowly come back to warrior two. Nice job. Cartwheel the arms back down. And we're going to step forward. So you can drop that back knee just for a moment. Open up through the chest, inhale. And then when you're ready, step the left foot forward and fold. Inhale to reach the arms up. Hands to heart center. Nice job. So we have the last one on the left now. So I'm just going to turn this way so you can see better. But you can stay where you are. Let's begin. Inhale up. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale. Half lift. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale. Left foot takes a big step back. Okay, spin the back heel down, 90 degree angle in the front knee. Reach the arms up. Palms touch, fingers are together, look towards your thumbs. Draw the belly in, shoulders forward, hips forward. Reach, reach, reach. Two more breaths. And exhale, frame the foot with your hands, step it back into plank, shift forward and Chaturanga Dandasan. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here and then we're going to move into warrior two. When you're ready, look forward, bend the knees. Left foot steps forward, spin the back heel down, cartwheel your arms. 
Let's come into warrior two, Virabhadrasan B. Shoulders away from the ears, belly in, ribs in, strong legs. Take a couple of breaths here, expand through those arms. And then reach up, inhale. Exhale, come back into warrior two. Now let's reverse it. So take whichever option you want with the right arm. Left arm reaches overhead. So either forward or back, find a bind. Stay low in that front leg and then come back to warrior two. Cartwheel the arms, drop that back knee. Take a moment here, reconnect to your breath. Inhale, exhale. And we're going to step it forward. So inhale, exhale, step it forward and fold. Reach the arms up, exhale, heart center. And take a moment here, feel your breath, feel your body, and then bring the arms to the sides of the body. Now we're going to make it to the mat. Just step your feet hip width distance apart. Toes out, heels in, hands to heart center. Inhale and exhale, start to come into Malasan Yogic Squat. Okay, so if you need a rolled up towel or a little pillow under your heels, feel free to place one there. And we're going to just push the knees away from us. Push the knees away, lift the heart, smile through the collarbones, reach up through the crown. Let's take one more breath. And then slowly use your hands to support yourself as you sit onto your mat. We're going to take a forward fold. So you can choose to take a very passive forward fold or an active one. I'll be demonstrating both. So we'll start by bending the knees, reaching the arms high. Exhale, bend the knees a little more. Find this connection between your belly and the thighs and reach for your feet. If not, you use a towel or a strap. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, just melt your chest toward the ground or towards your legs and that's about it you're just going to stay here but stay with your breath every inhale think of creating a little more space between each vertebra and then exhale to surrender if you want to take a more active one you're going to straighten the legs a little bit i always keep a little bend in my knees just not to overstretch my hands, hamstrings. So I inhale to lengthen and exhale, bending the elbows to the side. I'm pulling my heart forward, drawing the belly in. Every inhale, I lengthen. Every exhale, fold. Take one more breath wherever you are. And then slowly look forward and release the posture. Nice job. We're going to end in child's pose. So take whichever child's, child pose feels good, either knees together or apart. I'm going to keep my knees together. My toes are together. And I'm just going to sink my hips towards my heels and bring my arms to the side. And just let my shoulders relax my forehead come to the ground feel free to take any variation you can keep some space between the knees bring your arms forward like this see whichever feels good for you and let all the benefits of today's practice integrate in your mind in your body in your life take a moment to feel grateful for the practice Feel grateful for making it to your mat today. And slowly allow your breath to come back to its natural rhythm. And whenever you're ready, look forward and slowly walk your hands back toward your body. 
We're going to end this practice by chanting the three syllables of Om, which are A, U, and the humming sound, M. Mm. All right? So we'll bring our palms to touch in front of our heart. Let's inhale for A. Ah. Inhale for U. And inhale for the humming sound. Bow your head. Namaste. Thank you for joining me in this practice today. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm sweating. I loved it. Um, please take your Shavasana after this practice. Just for the sake of this video, I haven't recorded it. But after every practice, please do take at least 10 minutes of Shavasana. So lie down on your back and just allow your body to completely relax, your mind to be free for about 10 minutes. Thank you very much for joining me in today's practice. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.